Loveland. I'm David Miller, and we're here at the Board of Elections, the Hamilton County Board of Elections. Haley, Rebecca's child has just turned in about 1,500. 18. 18, I'm sorry. 1,800. <laughs> Re recall petitions to uh, recall the mayor of Loveland, Mark Fitzgerald. So, how's that feel? It feels good, um, but I feel a great pressure uh, and responsibility that has been given to me by the residents of Loveland who signed the petitions, not just this petition that we turned in today, but the previous petition that had 2,050 signatures on it. Um, I think that it should be obvious now that the residents of Loveland intended to sign and that their signature meant something, um, and I think that should be respected. It's, it's very clear that people want a recall election on the ballot for November 7th. And you did this within a week? A week, yes, but I owe a lot of gratitude to other people. Uh, it certainly wasn't me. Um, Neil Ori was the optimist of the bunch, and there's no way that I could have done this without his optimistic support. Um, we also had tremendous organizational support from people who stepped up in very large ways. And if I mentioned everybody or, or tried to mention a few people, I'd probably get in trouble for leaving people off because so many people stepped up. And we had, of course, new volunteers. So, yeah. And, um, it's pretty rewarding to knock on doors and get people involved in local politics. They, they appreciate it, don't they? Very much so. We met people in every neighborhood. Um, I, I believe it's 30 neighborhoods if you include the lodge. And so we had representatives knocking on doors and speaking with people in, in every neighborhood from all walks and uh, demographics. And um, I feel a great responsibility for that, that they've given me their message. They've given me um, their, their feedback about our local government. And I feel that what we're doing is really important. So you have to wait till these signatures are counted and certified. So they will check these signatures against the signatures that are on the books here. Yes. And um, mark them good or bad, and then they will give yes. you a count, mm -hmm. and then they will certify this um, for the election. And they will do that at a formal meeting of the board. Mm -hmm. And the last time you had that formal meeting, you found out that the petition itself lacked some specific language. Mm -hmm. So right. uh, you're waiting again. Yes. So. And you don't really know how long that's going to be, but it was fairly quick last time. It, it, was. it was, and we expect a quick turnaround this time. And of course, uh, you know, the big worry is that we have that minimum number of signatures that's required. And I believe the feedback that we got from the last board uh, meeting here, the hearing here, was that we needed 1209. And so today, today turning in 1800, we have quite a bit of a buffer. And uh, I'm very hopeful that we have the required number. Did you know from the petitions that you turned in the first time which were good and which weren't? And did you specifically knock on the good doors again? Yes, absolutely. We walked on a walk list that was provided to us by all three counties, uh, the Board of Elections websites. And so we did quite a bit of, uh, of planning before we went out and knocked on doors. We also set up locations across the city, say at the farmer's market and at the library. And at those locations, it became a little bit trickier to verify uh, voter eligibility, but, but we did attempt to do that. Um, so what's your beef with Mark Fitzgerald and, <laughs> and his That's leadership? That's a great question. In Loveland. That's a great question, and uh, I thank him for asking it. Um, my beef with Mark Fitzgerald is not a personal one. This is about representative government. I believe that government should be for, by, and of the people. And when I see um, a government that is not responsive to the people, it's not engaging with the people, it's not allowing our residents to sit down and participate in uh, the development of a master plan, well, those are red flags. And so when we looked a little bit closer, I decided that maybe they deserve a specific recall election of this particular person. And of course, we've published those reasons on our website for three plus months. It, it seems like the beef at City Hall has actually resulted in some really almost concrete things, some very concrete, but um, maybe perhaps starting with the uh, 
Well, I think the beef started with the uh, maybe the Fourth of July event, in the Christmas and Lafayette event, mm. and I don't think things have been accomplished much much through that. But then there was uh, the wholesale resignation from the beautification committee when Mark wouldn't reappoint a long time mm -hmm. member, and then uh, the farmers market fees came up. Mm -hmm. And so a success has been the reduction of those fees and things associated with that plan, ev event, planning, public events and love them. Right. Uh, it seems like the city hall, the repurposing of city hall is um, dead in the water, if not all the way completely underwater and drowned because <laughs> I've tried to contact city hall about that and say what's the status of right. it and got no response at all and it's, we've heard no response. Uh, it seems like there was one other thing that I was going to mention today, but there have been, well, it was the, uh, the firing of the, the uh, economic development director, a result of this beef at City Hall and watchdog at City Hall from a lot of people. Um, so how do you respond to those things? that and am I leaving things out that you think you've accomplished? No, I think that you've hit a lot of things on the head and kind of given a history and a, a lead up to where we are today. Um, I will say that prior to January we were seeing a lot of symptoms, so a lot of yellow flags being thrown and at that time is when um, I got together with about a dozen other residents who were really concerned and we formed Loveland Community Heartbeat Political Action Committee for the purpose of running candidates to break up the current majority. Um, and in the time since, we've done a lot of research and a lot of digging to see what, what they were planning and that's when we learned about, say, um, you know, the city hall, they were calling it repurposing but what they actually meant by that was a four-story building at the road front that would have inc included, um, you know, the park there paved. And a lot of people are okay with that. And, and I've tried not to take a public position. Uh, Loveland Community Heartbeat has tried not to take a public position. What we want is for residents to be at the table around that project. Mm -hmm. And so for it to be stalled until people can come to the table, well, that's a win. That's a definitely a win for the residents of Loveland. Um, okay. I, uh, oh, I do want to ask you, you have, uh, I guess, officially endorsed Neil to yes. be the council candidate this fall. Yes. And uh, you've got others coming. Do you know when those are going to be announced? We have another candidate, David, and I have promised the board members that I will not release the name until his packet is filed. And okay. so he, he plans to file on the 8th. So while I appreciate this opportunity to get his name out there, um, I do I do like to follow through with what I tell the board members. So you you, you have made the endorsement you're going to make. You're just not announcing one. Yes, we've made this. You're going election. to make two endorsements. Uh, that's right. So Neil Ori, who we hope will um, actually run to to finish Mark Fitzgerald's term on the recall ele election, and then we have a second candidate that we've chosen to run at large. Yes. Do you think she will be successful? Um, she will be amazing. <laughs> oh, we, we, we know half of that answer then. <laughs> okay. Um, well. Setting you up. <laughs> so. All right. I set you up. All okay. right. Thanks a bunch. Hey, thank you so much for okay. being here, You're David. Welcome. It's really important, I think, for the residents of Loveland to have this opportunity to see democracy in action. So I really appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.